this episode of Music Geology, we're diving into the world of Aerosmith and their very first top 40 hit. But don't let the rice pudding fool you. The sweetness to this story is overshadowed by the drama of the band's wives. So let's go back now to 1975, when Aerosmith's bassist Tom Hamilton first came up with the music for a new song which was inspired by an obscure seven minute long instrumental tune from legendary Yardbirds guitarist Jeff Beck. As you could guess, it was called Rice Pudding. But try and guess which song from Aerosmith would be inspired by this. It uses essentially the same notes, but dances to a different rhythm. Let's take a listen. Now, once the music was more or less intact, the song then needed some lyrics. So Tom had then presented it to Steven Tyler, who then took inspiration from an unlikely person, the first wife of their lead guitarist, Joe Perry. Apparently she caused quite a rift within the band, especially with other wives. One account says she threw milk over Tom Hamilton's wife. In the band's autobiography, Walk This Way, Steven Tyler openly confessed that a portion of the lyrics was indeed inspired by Elissa Perry. So there's your extra layer of real-life drama added to this rock anthem. Released on May 19th of 1975, the song Sweet Emotion was the first single from Aerosmith's album Toys in the Attic. It became a top 40 hit by reaching the 36th spot on the Billboard Hot 100, and then this laid the groundwork for the rest of the album to become the band's most successful studio LP ever recorded. Now let's take a listen to a few snippets to hear the inspiration of Jeff Beck and the disgruntled wife of Joe Perry. Here's Sweet Emotion from Aerosmith. Now that's what we call a sonic gem. 